Hello friends, thank you for watching this video. I am Muhammad and today we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have a quick video about the latest version of .NET Aspire. Although version 6 of .NET Aspire has not been released so long time ago, a new version of .NET Aspire has been released with some breaking changes. And something to keep in mind as well, that .NET Aspire is still in preview, so all of these breaking changes are expected to be introduced. So something to keep in mind is .NET Aspire is still in preview, so all of these breaking changes are still expected to be in use. So let's go through them, see how we can update to the latest version and run our application to that. So let's get started. What I have here is I have an application which is already running on .NET Aspire version 6 But before we jump into that, let's go to our web browser And what I have here is basically the, the release of .NET Aspire uh, Preview 7 And as we can see, it has been released a couple of days ago And basically it says here that Preview 7 was not originally a roadmap But in order for them to do some enhancement, they had to introduce uh, this one In order for them to have a more stable API whenever it's scheduled for release And for this one, and for this reason, they have introduced .NET Aspire Preview 7 With a lot of breaking changes And as we can see here from the list of the functionality that they have introduced it's not a lot of new updates it's a pretty small update but the main items here is all of these new breaking changes when it comes to property renaming and because all of these breaking changes we need to make sure that our application if we're utilizing any of these functionality we need to update them in order for us to make sure that our application is running and it's not basically being broken so other than those naming uh, changes if we go a bit down there's a bit of a class renaming regarding the azure messaging event hub based settings and this is basically Basically, if you're utilizing uh, Azure Event Hub, as well as uh, some dashboard updates regarding the container image default. So I'm gonna planning to have a video regarding regarding the dashboard and how we can actually utilize it as a standalone. That should be coming soon. But uh, as we can see here, that also there has been a dashboard update as well as the container image default changes. So as we can see, uh, the default images that we have been relying on in order for us to spin up all of these third-party services, the naming convention has changed for them. And other than that, this should be it. Nothing really else has changed i say that but a lot is out of breaking changes so let's go to our terminal and start doing the updating process as they have requested so if we come here let's clear this up and let's make this a bit so if we come here we can see the first one is going to be dot not workload update once i do that we can see it's getting the latest version and we can see it's already found the preview 7 let's give it a few seconds to finish okay perfect now the update has finished completely running now we need to run the second command, which is gonna be a .NET workload. Let's clear this up actually, to have a bit more space. .NET workload, install Aspire. And it's already installed on my machine, and we can see here that I'm already running on preview seven, which is exactly what I want. So now that I have done this, the next step is I need to update my NuGet packages and my project in order for me to run this. So I'm gonna use Rider to do this. So now that my Aspire has loaded here, and just so you know, there's still not a lot of support when it comes to Rider and Aspire, so some of the projects will not really run as it should, but I really like the NuGet packages functionality that uh, Rider provides in order for us to update. So as we can see here, our uh, .NET Aspire is already have, seeing the preview 7, so we're gonna be up upgrading to that from preview 6. So we'll say upgrade, we'll upgrade this one as well. I'm gonna choose 8.4 similar service discovery to update the preview 7 and this one 8.4 okay perfect as we can see open telemetry has an update so let's update that and extension.hosting also as for the resiliency it's already on the latest version that i want which is 8.4 i'm not going to be upgrading it tonight and that should be it now if we go back uh, to visual studio code and this is where i'm going to be running my application open my terminal and inside my terminal i'm going to navigate to app host I'm gonna put dot, dot not build and now basically it should build everything for me. Perfect build succeeded and now if I run it, so I'm gonna put dot not run. Now we can see it started to build and run and we can see it's using uh, version 7 so dot not 8.0 dash preview 7.24251 and this is the version that I want and let's give it a few seconds now it should be loading and we can see here I got also my login token that I'm going to be using in order for me to authenticate so let's open this up in a browser and as you can see it's automatically my application are running it's a very simple out of the box sample application so nothing really here but if I open here my front end we'll be able to see that it is running so let's click on that we can see my hello world is running I click on my back and we can see the data coming back. Okay, great. So this was a quick video introducing .NET Aspire Preview 7 and why do we need it? And how we can actually upgrade to it. If you have any question or clarification, please make sure you put them in the comments down below. If you'd like to support me, please consider supporting me on Patreon or buying me a coffee. With that said, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.